Hey Michael with X-Force PC, I want to talk about reloading windows. So let's say your windows is just screwed up and unstable and a mess, but it will still boot to windows. So you see here we have the windows desktop, but we want to reload windows. Um, and so this method I'm going to talk about is for uh, those customers who want to reload windows, but it will still boot to windows. Now there's a whole different method if your system won't boot to Windows. So um, the first thing is you want to make sure you back up all your data. The way I'm going to show you is going to it's going to be clean slate. So you make sure you back up your data. Um, you will lose all of your data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the shift key down on the keyboard and then I'm just going to click on the uh, power button here and choose restart. I'm going to again choose restart while holding down the shift key and I'm still holding the shift key and you continue to hold it until you get this. And so what I'm going to choose now um, for my option here and I will um, zoom in just a bit but um, what we're going to do is choose troubleshoot and then choose reset this PC. So they call um, you know, reloading Windows, essentially resetting the PC. Now you have two choices, keep my files and, and you have remove everything. Now if you choose keep my files, I strongly, well I strongly recommend you don't because you want to start over fresh. But all keep my files will do is keep data. It will not keep programs. Programs will have to be reinstalled. Again, programs will have to be reinstalled. So since you've backed up all your data anyway, you might as well do the remove everything option. So again, I'm going to remind you one more time, your data should be backed up before you do this. I'm going to choose remove everything. And then we're going to get, I believe, another option to um, choose whether or not we want the drive sort of scrubbed or not. So let's give that just a second. Okay, so it didn't take but a minute to get here, but um, what I, you can do is fully clean the drive, which means it's going to overwrite the drive. You would really only choose this option if you were going to uh, sell your computer to someone else or give your computer away. If you're staying in your possession, there's no re need to do a secure erase. I'm going to choose just remove my files. And then it's just warning me, you know, you're going to lose everything. And then I hit reset and now it goes about resetting the PC and eventually it will come up and ask some questions. So we'll come back whenever that happens. Probably, you know, depending on your PC, this could take as long as five to seven minutes on a really fast machine or it could take 45 minutes to an hour on a machine with a mechanical hard drive that's a little bit slower. Okay, so we're back here. I have a really fast system here and that took a, probably about 10 minutes to do. So you're looking at kind of a minimum of 10 minutes to get to this point and, and a maximum of, you know, an hour, an hour and a half if you have a really slow system. So it's just asking me what my region is and I'm going to say yes, that's right. Um, the keyboard is a US keyboard. I'm going to skip adding a second keyboard and then it'll do a little bit more work and it should ask me a few more questions. So at this point it's just basic questions you should be able to answer without a ton of thought. And then if you have, um, if your network doesn't connect, um, it's possible you would need to go download some network drivers. You'd need to go use another computer to do that. Um, and I'm just going to create an offline account here. So keep in mind, if your network isn't working, you may have to go download the proper network drivers for your... Um, these, again, are just basic questions uh, for your network adapter. And then if you have a gaming graphics card, you know, like an NVIDIA GTX 1070 or whatever, you want to go visit NVIDIA.com, download the latest NVIDIA drivers. And then, uh, most importantly, you want to run Windows Update because it's going to go and it's going to grab any drivers that maybe you missed. 
So you click on the start button, go to settings, and then click on Windows Update and tell it to go and download any missing updates. And then once you've done all that, you should be back up and running on Windows 10. And of course, you'll need to reinstall your driver, excuse me, your programs and copy your data back onto the machine, your pictures and videos and documents or whatever you might have uh, need to be copied back on.